This is Robert with Pioneer Smokehouses, and today's video we're going to show you how to load wood chips so your master built electric smoker can smoke like this. This video is a companion video to my website article, How to Use a Master Built Electric Smoker, a Beginner's Guide. So let's go ahead and get right into that. First thing I want to do is I want to show you the wood chip pan in the master built electric smoker. Now this is the pan right here. It is pretty small, so it doesn't have a lot of holding capacity. However, it fits perfectly in here and is able to hold just the right amount so you get a good burn and you don't have a lot of leftovers. Now, if you use small wood chips, they're going to burn completely and it'll just have a little bit of ash in there. If you use large wood chips or chunks, then you'll have more in there and you'll need to empty it more often. Next piece is the wood chip loading tube. Now this slides in to a hole on the side of the smoker, which I will demonstrate for you in one second. I'm gonna go ahead and open the smoker and insert this. I did preheat the smoker and uh, run a little bit of wood chips through it for that demo at the beginning, but we'll just go ahead and put this in here. Everything is hot. Slide it right in there right above the element. And then we'll go ahead and close the door. Here I have some Smokehouse Products Hickory Wood Chunks. Now, wood chips will burn a little bit better, but I happen to just have an open bag of the wood chunks, and they do burn great in this smoker. Different companies make different size of wood pieces. So one company that calls wood chips, like Weber, are larger and may be similar to the size of what Smokehouse Products calls wood chunks. And you can see here that these pieces are relatively medium in size. The smaller your wood chunks or chips, the faster they will burn and also the heavier the smoke will be. But you'll have to add more for small chips or even things like sawdust and you can use pellets, but they will burn very quickly. When I put wood chips in the tube, I like to pour them just like this with my hand to kind of guide them in. Now you'll see that the one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want them sticking out. If you feel the need, you can always load more, but you don't want to overload it on each loading. If you'd like to measure it, this is roughly about one half cup of wood chunks. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert this, and we'll get you a close up of that. We slide it in the side. Then there's an arrow right here, which shows that you just turn it clockwise. Once it's done, you turn it back and then you can remove it. And on the first load, if you want, you can put in another half cup of wood chips. Any more than that and your insert tube won't go in. I like to leave the tube in there when it's smoking from the wood chip pan. But if I'm using an outside device like a pellet tray, then I will leave the tube out so oxygen can get in so the pellet tray will not go out. And when I put the tube in there, I like to give it a little bit of a turn just so the tabs will lock it in place. I've never had it fall out, but this way I eliminate that possibility completely. Now we can sit here and wait about five minutes and we should get good smoke. I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but I can clearly see smoke coming out. And it's only been a couple of minutes. In another couple of minutes, it'll be coming out at full speed, just like it was at the beginning of the video. Let's take a break for one minute and let it burn a little bit. It's been about one minute and let's discuss a couple of tips really quick. First of all, with electric smokers, you never want to use wet wood chips. The smokers are designed to burn dry chips and also 
If you put wet wood chips in anything, you're just gonna end up with steam instead of smoke to begin with. Once the water is all gone, then of course your wood chips will start to smoke. My second tip is that a standard size wood chunk or wood chip, depending on what brand you're using, will burn for about 45 minutes tops. Smaller wood chips or even sawdust will burn a lot faster, so you might only end up with about 30 minutes. However, let the wood chips completely burn so that way the ash is completely gone and then reload it. That way you'll be able to start from the beginning and make sure that you're not wasting any wood chips. Some people say that at the end of the process of the burning that the flavor changes a little bit. And if you're concerned about that, by all means you can open the door and reach in there and pull the wood chip tray out and dump it, but I never do and I have never had any issue with it. Now, we can look here and the smoker is burning those wood chips at full speed now. Look how much smoke is coming out there. And that is perfect. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I have an article with all the tips on master-built electric smokers and you can find that in the first link below. Also, You'll see some other videos, and I thought they were there, but I think they're gonna be here. That'll take you to some of these other short videos on how to use a master-built electric smoker, a beginner's guide. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.